All right, I'm the Flat Rate Master, and today we're talking about digital video inspection. Disclaimer, I've never actually worked at a shop that did DVI, just haven't. So we're gonna talk about the benefits and problems with DVIs from both the technician and the sales force. I'm a negative person, so we're gonna talk negatives first. It's a lot more work for the technician. Taking pictures, adding these notes to those pictures, making sure you get a good shot, make sure you've got lighting right so they can actually see what you're talking about. A lot of shops don't pay for it, which is an important thing. If the shop wants you to do DVIs and they don't pay you for it and your flat rate, that's a problem. Now, if you're in a shop that pays hourly, non-issue, obviously. DVIs are becoming really, really popular and they take time from actually billing, but they make the selling job easier. We'll get into that in a little bit. Another problem is, is literally the amount of time it can take for a thorough DVI inspection, especially with a vehicle with a lot of problems. Everybody, I'm sure in my audience has, has had that car that just is just everything's broke. You got oil leaks from the valve cover, you got oil leaks from the oil pan, transmission's leaking, needs bearings, needs brakes, needs this, needs that. It's gonna take you a considerable amount of time to document all that way more than just having to write it down on a ticket. It's like when you have to price that kind of stuff out, it can take a long time. That is a huge problem with DVIs is the amount of time that technician is spent in a sales role not fixing cars. On the flat rate side of it with DVI, if the shop is selling a DVI inspection service that you get paid for, kind of turns the tables a little bit. You're getting paid to do it, so it's not so much of a big deal. Chances are you're probably losing a little bit of time on it at the bare minimum. On the bad ones, you're probably losing a lot of time. Still is a problem. But on the other side of it, the positives, we all know it is, we're a visual digital society. When the customer can see a problem, they're more likely to buy it. Positives are that it's easier for that kind of repairs to get sold. Now let's talk about trust issues. Now this is something that you see online. Less than honest service writers have doc pictures of something that they wanna sell and they just upload it like I've seen printouts of multiple pages of problems on a car and looked at the actual car and didn't find most of those problems. That is a issue with DVIs is it makes it a lot easier once you get a file of pictures, fake upsell. In most shops that shouldn't be a concern, but there are bad people in this industry. There are people that will take advantage. Consumers are also well aware of that kind of scam mentality. Look at all the uh, Action 5 undercover at auto repair shops ripping people off. You can see in those videos, you know, they get the typical quick lube, they come out with a dirty air filter that isn't out of the customer's car or a sample of transmission fluid that also wasn't out of that car. Just like anything else in this world, the shop has to build that trust with the customer for them to believe those pictures. Because trust me, anything can be fake. The computer behind me has Photoshop. You think I can't make an oil pan look like it's dripping oil? It's a tool for the sales staff, but it is not the end all be all. My opinion on DVI is, if your sales staff has that trust with the customers, they really don't need pictures. You're literally just making more work for the technician. It makes their jobs easier. Take a picture, oh, that's broke. You wanna fix it? That's the advantage for the sales staff is it makes their job just easier. Dump more work on a technician and makes their job easier to, to you know, get off Facebook for a couple minutes, call a customer and send them some pictures and sell a job. It's a useful tool. I don't really think it's that necessary. Quite frankly, if you have a good service writer that builds trust with your customer base, you don't need pictures. As long as they trust the service writer, they trust the service writer. Pictures might reinforce that trust, but also might develop some distrust. Is he trying to rip me off by showing this picture of my oil pan that I haven't seen any drips in my driveway? I'm not counting the diaper that's sitting on the ground soaking oil because it hasn't saturated to the point where it's dripping out of the pan, but that's another subject. My personal opinion is as long as you're getting paid for it, it's not a big deal. If they're wanting you to do it for free, it's a huge deal. One thing that needs to be accounted for 
if a shop wants you to do a DVI, you need to be compensated if you're flat rate. Hourly, doesn't matter. Hope you like this kind of insight into what I think of DVI. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.